So do black holes exist? Uh, no, of course they don't exist. Black holes, a construct of general relativity. They are a theoretical prediction. And like any other theoretical prediction that we've made over the decades and centuries of scientific enterprise, some of the predictions are borne out by observations. Oh, hey, nature, uh, you know, it allows that particular solution. We agree with nature. But we also make predictions, uh, you know, the results of general relativity or some other theory that you might choose to work with can make some predictions, the existence of certain solutions that simply don't appear in nature. And for a long time, it was thought that black holes shouldn't exist because at the center of a black hole, the very core of it, the heart, the defining feature of a black hole is the singularity, a point of infinite density where everything that's ever fallen into the black hole gets crammed into an infinitely tiny point. Singularities don't exist. Mother nature does not allow for the existence of singularities. It's just, it's just not a thing. So we know if the theory, if the mathematics start popping out infinities in singularities, we're like, whoa, okay, never mind. We're going off the rails here. We're going in a bad direction. Our theory, our mathematics, our machinery are giving us nonsense results. These can't possibly exist. But we see evidence for black holes. So what's going on? We see something that looks and talks and walks and quacks like a black hole in the observable universe. Binary stars, centers of galaxies, gravitational waves, the whole deal. But we know that singularities don't exist. We know that Mother Nature would prevent the formation of an actual singularity. We don't know how. The answer lies in the realm of quantum gravity. When gravitational forces get very, very strong and very, very small, that's the realm of quantum gravity, and we don't understand quantum gravity. We do not have a solution for that kind of physics. If we did, I wouldn't even need to talk about it. I'd be talking about something else. But black holes, as we understand them through general relativity, do not exist because the singularity cannot exist. What is the answer to replace black holes? We honestly don't know. It has to look a lot like black holes because we have all this observational evidence that small, compact, event horizon, blah, 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 this, that, everything's acting like a black hole, but we know something different has to be going on in the center to replace the singularity with something else. What that something else is, is beyond our current capabilities to understand, but it must be different. Maybe by the end of it, a century from now, when we've solved quantum gravity, cross your fingers, once we've solved it, we'll just get update the name. We'll say, oh yeah, black holes, we're going to keep the name, black holes, totally legit name, but it doesn't refer to this object predicted by general relativity. Instead, it refers to this object predicted by quantum gravity, whatever it is, or maybe not. Maybe we'll pick a new name. Who knows? If, you know, whoever gets to figure it out gets, gets to name it. It's kind of a tradition and I'm on board with that. Hey, it's me again. I know you just watched a few minutes of me, but who can use a little bit more of me? I'm just here to beg you to please subscribe. And if I remember, there's going to be a button like right here uh, where I'm vaguely gesturing so that you can click the button and subscribe and it's super handy. Uh, this is so that you can get the latest updates of all my shows. I mean, that's basically how it works. So if you like what you just saw, uh, you'll get more of it if you subscribe. Super easy.